Well, you have five kids. Yeah, there's, there's, a, lot lot of lot. there's a lot of knocking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, should you come off supplements or two before doing the fertility? Supplements? No. What is the optimal winding thickness for an FET? Eight millimeters or more, less than 12. Can priming with Omnitrope and Androgel cause high estrogen? Yes. Is there any proof sex a night before the embryo transfer helps implantation? Yes, there's another study I'll probably share with you guys next week. Although we've done it before, but it's worth doing again. Nookie the night before is a good idea. So there is an improvement in live birth rates if you have sex the night before. There are studies that have shown that the ejaculate primes the endometrium to facilitate implantation. So we tell our patients to just keep having sex. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of great medical advice. Yeah, absolutely. Can you talk a little more why you don't recommend birth control in an IVF cycle? HX of Hashimoto's and unexplained infertility. HX is history. Uh -huh. um, reduces the number of eggs you're going to get, suppresses the ovaries, makes it harder to get good quality eggs, decreased live birth in multiple different studies. So we don't do it. You have no idea how many questions we have. That's why TikTok is just like, like the, the, the queue is just it's massive. Before we get to here, it's just we're getting a record setter. I love it. It's yeah, good. Yeah, you got a record All right. for sure. For sure. That's for sure. <laughs> Hi, doctor. Yeah. My blood test results from yep. day two of cycle is below. Oh, I see. Below here in the comments. Could you comment if there's PCOS? and about endo. Okay, so, so endo, to... no, I'm gonna tell you that already. PCOS, what's the FSH? Uh, she's got a bunch of stuff here or someone. I just need the FSH and LH. Okay, FSH 6.8. Yeah. LH 9.0. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. That's why you're the doctor, man. <laughs> Once I see numbers, I have to give it to you. When the LH is higher than the FSH, that's one of the hallmark signs of PCO. Uh-huh. Endo, you can't tell from any lab work. As a doctor, what kind of topics would be too specific for a YouTube channel chat? Well, technically, I can't answer someone's direct question about their care, right? Because you have to be my patient. So if someone says, should I do this? I always have to answer and say, well, we would do this. I can't tell you what you should do because you're not my patient. So I can't be that specific, but you can ask me anything. I mean, I, I get approached about everything from vaginismus to what to do about this kind of cancer or that kind of cancer to inducing breastfeeding and non you know, pregnant women. I mean, you, you name it, I get it all. So yeah, happy to help no matter what it is. Hi doc, how long should it take to get pregnant after depot, but I had nonstop bleeding for 11 months. And before that I have a, of six week cycle. Depo Provera, um, that's an impossible question for me to answer. Cause I would need to know the rest of your history. If your cycles were every six weeks, there may be something wrong in which case you need to figure out what's wrong. So I can't answer that. Although I can tell you that Depro Provera can stay in your system for up to 18 months. So it can be there for a very long time. You gotta ask some TikTokers that they're gonna get pissed at me. Can, before we get to the TikTokers, can the at-home turkey baster yeah. method actually work? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of lesbian couples that do that. They find a dude, they trust them, or they get them tested, whatever. And then they just have them ejaculate at their place, throw it in a turkey baster, fire away. Shut up. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All the time. All the time. Yeah. Common. Common. Mm -hmm. Listen, I can't necessarily blame them either. And I actually tell some patients to do it. But here's why it costs, it used to cost 600 bucks to buy a vial of donor sperm. Okay. Today I had a lesbian couple that was here and they told me that the new pricing is 2,100 Canadian dollars. Went from 600 pre-pandemic to $2,100 to get a vial of sperm. Yeah, that crap only works 10 to 15% if you're doing an IUI. So wow. if you've got a dude who's willing to help you and you know he's squeaky clean, why wouldn't you? Wow. You know, $5 turkey baster from the supermarket, John, 
John, and you're good to go. Good to go. And it's not like as guys we complain about ejaculating. So, yeah, yeah. How do I make my doc listen to me when I'm complaining about my pains? Oh, listen, I was telling my medical student about this today. And and Tark and I were looking at my endometriosis video in preparation for making that. So uh, in Canada, it takes over four years on average to be diagnosed with endometriosis, which is horrendous. And a big, big part of that, I own it as one of the brethren, <laughs> It's because the doctors aren't listening. Now, I'm very proud to say I always listen and I always consider the potential for endo. And I tell my patients to consider getting investigated and evaluated for it. But there is absolutely no question whatsoever that most patients are getting horrible, horrible care for their endo. So how do you get your doctor to listen? You demand that they take it seriously and then you threaten to complain. That's all you can do. And if that doesn't work, get a better doctor, right? I mean, we are out there. I listen to my patients. I listen to their story. I, you know, I had a patient today that said for years and years and years, she had been told, take this painkiller, take more painkillers, you know, just take painkillers. And I said, well, you probably have endo. And she said, why has no one said that to me yet? And I said, I don't know. I mean, we do a terrible job of it, but I get, there's no question. Lots of people have endo. It's very prevalent. Why wouldn't we take that seriously? Why should it take that long for a woman to be get, you know, to receive a diagnosis? Granted, it does take a long time to get someone into surgery and surgery is not without risks. But if the shoe fits, like take the poor woman to the OR and figure it out. Not this nonsense of that's normal. I don't get it. I really don't.